Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm here at Pop Shelf. I've been hearing a lot about Pop Shelf, TikToks, other creators making videos about it. Uh, so I'm excited to come here because from the way you guys are making it sound, it's like not like a Dollar Tree, but they have a lot of stuff for affordable prices. So you know, I'm down for that. And I want to change my style. Something just changed to me and I'm like, bro, I'm sick and tired of all these neutral colors. Like, I guess it was just something. It was just the social media getting to me or whatever. I do like neutrals, don't get me wrong. But like, I've been seeing people, and again, that is not my business. That's your business, but I'm just saying. I've been seeing people post bedroom reveals for their baby and it's neutral, no color. Like, what? For your baby? No, like you need color in your life and i just feel like it's not gloomy because it's a type of it's something that's trending but it's just like where's the color like uh, so now i want to like redo my whole house and just do like colorful things i want a colorful ways i want color in my life i don't want neutrals it's so boring that's what it is to me now like i just it just hit me okay it just hit me yesterday so I want to do color. I don't want a house that looks just like every other every other person's house. I want something that's unique, something colorful. I want yellow. I want pink. I want red. I want green. I want blue. I want all the colors of the rainbow. I want colorful, okay? And I don't know. Maybe that's something else that's like not bringing me down, but it's just like, ugh, it's just boring. Like, just boring. Sure, it's aesthetically pleasing or whatever, but I want some color in my life and determined to get some colorful things i've not painted some things that i already have that are neutral painted like a red or a green i don't know something something color colorful and with easter coming up that's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun i'm really not gonna shop i decided i'm really not gonna shop seasonal until i have my own house because i don't have all that space to be buying things for valentine's day things for easter i just don't and christmas you guys saw when I put the Christmas boxes up, Christmas took like four boxes. And that was me after I got rid of two boxes, two other boxes that I have for Christmas. I'm like, no, 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 no. We need, we need control and I need to stay away from Target. You need to stay away from Target. And now that I look at it this way, like I don't need any, you really don't need any material things. You really don't. But you know, it's nice to have them and you know, you work hard for your money. I have been so impulsive buying this and that and this and that. Like I got it like that. But that's not the point. You need to have the mentality of, oh, I'm broke. That's the mentality. Even if you got it, you need to be like, oh my God, I'm broke. I can't, I'm broke. I can't. Because if you don't need it, then don't buy it. Okay? So that being said let's see how much self-control i have at pop shelf and i'm actually here already i just want to talk to you guys and excuse myself i'm sorry i know i've been absent but i'm the type like i don't want to get on camera and not not want to record i don't know life is so repetitive and i don't like that like if it was up to me i'd be somewhere in cancun somewhere at the bahamas i don't know i just want to lay down on the beach and just chill but here we are here we are i it's gonna be someday i just have to be patient i know that but i'm just so tired of like the same thing the same cycle going to work monday to friday the weekend is like it flies so fast and i just i need a vacation <laughs> That's, that's the bottom line. I need a vacation. I know the year just started, but I'm already over it. Like, I'm already over it. Anyways, thank you for listening to my little rant. If you did, let's just go into Pop Shelf and see what we find and have some self control. Admire, window shop. I don't know. But let's see. If I don't need it, I'm not buying it. Hold me to it, okay? This is if you were wondering how it's spelled Pop Shelf. Literally, exactly how it sounds. Let's see what they got. Don't forget to lock your car now. There's a lot of thieves. Don't forget to lock your car, protect your tires. I heard that's another thing going on. Hey, let me shut up, let's get in there. Ooh, it's a purple store. Ooh, they got Easter stuff out, y'all. Oh, that's so cute, but that's expensive. Well, actually cheaper than Target. That's cute. 
We got little candies if you're interested in getting some candy for your Easter hunt. I probably got a lot of my, um, what's it called? I probably got a lot of my purse. I figured we would shop like this for maybe a better view. I don't know. I'm really just going to show you guys what I like. I don't really do, I don't really feel like doing a whole store tour today. I'm probably going to have to make a lot of the, a lot of parts of the video with music without me talking because as you guys can see they're playing music so sorry about that but let's get into the goodies. Ooh, okay. So right away I see this. This looks cute. I like this. I like this for like a centerpiece for your table. I like this. Like I said guys, our goal today is to find some color and only if we need it. And they have a lot of storage bins. I don't know if you guys can see that in the back, but they have a lot of storage bins, a lot of planters if you're a plant mom. Alright, I'm just gonna warn you for the rest of the video, I'm not gonna talk because there's too much music going on and I'm sorry. Details on this. This is cute. Ooh, okay. Now we're talking. Remember, we talked color? Yeah, I like this. This is nice. Put three little plants in here, fake or real. You decide. Like. big red mushroom as decor either for like a planter or just decor they have some pillows more things for easter if you guys can see back there they have all kinds of things for easter they have towels okay well none of these have color it's mostly like plain colors as you guys can see there's brown green but they're all like dull colors can you guys believe that this this thing the whole toilet paper is really expensive i i held off i held off buying any toilet paper holder for like three years and i finally gave in because i realized the prices weren't gonna go down they're gonna go up so i just got them but why are they expensive i don't know Oh my god, you 
guys, I've been wanting to get one of these for the longest. If I don't, would just shut up. <laughs> Adele trying to get me copyrighted. I'm liking this decorative mirror for $4, but I don't know. It's very cheap. Sorry if you ain't best friend. I got niggas trying to end me. Pretty, I like those. Kind of want to grab some. Bring the bag. So I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna do a spring cleaning video today and tomorrow. And I just wanna make sure I have. Oh, you know what I need? I need gloves. Remind me to get some gloves. They should have gloves. They have. They even have stuff for. Cats. So they got cats and dog stuff. I need these. I don't know if you know, but you put these right hanging on the t on the toilet. You know where the I don't know how to explain. It. You just put it on your toilet, and it keeps the toilet smelling fresh and clean. I'm gonna get a couple of these because it's been a while since I got these, so I'm gonna get these. But it says it's a dollar, but you can get them cheaper at Walmart, so I might hold off on this, and we might go to Walmart after this. So I'm gonna hold off, but remind me, and I need you love. Oh, look, they have things for your laundry room. You get six of this. The last gloves that I got. And you guys saw at Dollar Tree, they were they were powdery. Every time I went like this, powder spread everywhere. And I don't like that. So let's get this. Let's get two since they're just a dollar. And I always need gloves. So let me just get these two. Get these. Get, this is $10. And then this is $8. Yep. Oh, they got one dollar Vaseline. Oh, stop playing. Cause the Dollar Tree is one twenty-five. So let's get this one. I'm gonna get several. Hold on, you guys. I'm short. I gotta. Ooh, they even have vegan lip balm. What? This is vegan, but guess what? This is five dollars. This might be better. But I'm just gonna get the one for one dollar. Look at how cute and tiny these are. Like. Don't lie to me. These are cute. Oh, look what I found. I can't even see that over there. Look at these nails. And they're from the brand Believe Beauty. Isn't that? I know I've heard of this brand. Is it in a Dollar Tree? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. That place was mid. It was okay. And then I was standing there at checkout because this is my first time going there and I thought she was going to check me out and then I read. The key to life guys is to read and then I read on the screen where you pay and it says self checkout. So I was like, oh. Imagine me being stupid just waiting for her. She was like doing something and I'm like, I I'm not rude. I'm not the type to be like, hey, can you help me? Like, what's up? I I'm just, I'm the type, I'm just going to wait for her to get done what she's doing. It's not that serious. I'm waiting and then I read the screen and it says self checkout. Okay, self checkout. I'm glad there was nobody behind me. <laughs> but yeah, there was self checkout. Um, really not like, it wasn't really much to it. I don't know. I'm just, I feel like I'm past that point of my life where you just shop at cheap stores 
and I'm not don't get me wrong that place was nice was really beautiful everything about the place was nice it's just I don't know I don't know how to explain it like I'm really not trying to be disrespectful for anybody that likes to shop there it's just when you get older you want nice things and nice things last things that are cheap don't last and I'm finally re I'm finally coming to that realization so I don't really want to buy anything cheap but then I really shouldn't even be going out at all because you know if I want something expensive then where where am I gonna go you know so I don't I don't know but I got a couple cool little things I'll show you guys at the end of the video if you stick around um, right now I want to go to Walmart because I want to get a suction cup for the for my camera I have the car mount thing for the camera but I put it in a place that's so dumb I don't know why I put it there but I did and now I don't even think I can take it down and then if I take it down I know it might be like if I take it down then I don't think I'll be able to use it again so I just want to get another one and it's really not that big of a deal it's only like three four five dollars max so let me show you guys what I'm talking about so that's the suction thing that holds the camera and then the suction mount thing I put it I have it somewhere else because you know I need this this is like the key to everything so i need to get another one and again if i take this down i'm pretty sure like it's it's on there good okay like if i take this down i think i have to throw it away so so i'm just looking for somewhere to get a car pad mounting disc that's what it's called a mounting disc that's what that is so i know they have some on amazon because that's where i bought it from but i see walmart has some stuff and I just want to see if they have it in person. Ah, uh, when purchased online, no, I want it in person. Just want to mount a dashboard, Ugh, Amazon, Walmart. Scotch Mount Extreme, double sided. Let's see what this is about. And then, you guys know I don't love going to Walmart by myself especially with what i'm wearing i'm wearing some shorts in this top all right y'all this is taking too long let me figure it out and wherever i figure out where to get this car mount is where we're gonna go next all right so i decided not to go to walmart because it's not that serious you know i'm also trying to learn patience so it's not that serious i can just order my car mount on amazon just wait for it because it's okay it's okay and so i just decided i want to try something new today and i always pass by this coffee place and i'm like you know what i'm gonna go there today because i don't like i'm not i don't like when people say they're gonna do something and then they never do it but then they say over and over again like oh i want to do this sometimes i'm like that and i'm at fault too so no more talking about things or doing things. So I am going. We are already here. I'm gonna go inside and get me a coffee from this place called Minuti Coffee. I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I think it's Italian. I don't know, something like that. Italian, I don't know, something like that. I've been wanting to come here for the longest time. I always drive by it. And you know what? Today's the day we get this coffee. Let's see what I want. Listen, before I go into a store, I always like to look at the menu online because I don't want to look like uh, and then there's a lot of people behind me like ma'am hurry up this is coffee so I need to take my time okay I want to get something sweet you guys know me I like vanilla I like something sweet Shakaro selections what is that I will say was weird was when I ordered my drink and I paid 
He didn't give me the receipt right away. He was like, I'll give you the receipt once you get your coffee. Like, I already paid. Why are you trying to keep my receipt hostage? I thought that was weird, but actually, now that I blend it in, like mix it around, it tastes better. I'd say it's pretty good now. It wasn't blended when I first got it, so once I blended it, it's pretty good. I like it. It's good. It's called Minuti Coffee. Minuti Coffee. So, if you guys are around the area, or if they have this in your area, go ahead and give it a try. The one that I got was the. Let's see. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I got the Shakerato. It's from the Shakerato selection, and I got the vanilla one because y'all know I love me some vanilla. Let me show you guys everybody else that's around here because there's also an outside seating area. Honestly, y'all, I needed that. It's so nice to just go out by yourself sometimes and just be outside, not being on your phone. Because that's really, to me, to me, it's not hard to not be on my phone if I'm with somebody. But everybody else. They just can't seem to live in the moment. They're stuck on the phone. And I, you know, I'm just left there. Not on my phone. Looking at everybody else. And everybody else on their phone. Like, enjoy the moment because you'll regret that one day. Trust me. And then low key, I feel like being uh, impulsive. Even though I shouldn't because I just told y'all that I didn't want to spend any money. But I really, 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 really want to build a Lego. Like a Lego sculpture. Ooh. They're expensive though. Damn. Should I go to Target? No. I know I shouldn't. I try to keep my hands on the card, okay? I try not to look too much, okay? I, I try. No promises, but I'll try. I would lie and say I need to buy some things, but I, I don't need to buy anything. I just want to look. Some days I just feel discouraged and I feel like nobody cares to watch any of my videos. And I'm and I'm tired. I'm done of I'm done trying to tell people, hey, go watch my videos. Like whoever watches this watches it. If you don't watch it, you don't watch it. I I prefer that. I prefer something genuine. If you watch my video, cool. If you don't, you don't. <sighs> obviously i already knew i already knew that friends don't really care about what you do at all it's always the strangers that want to see you thrive but your friends depending on the friend which most of my friends nobody cares nobody cares so you gotta do this for you and at the end of the day it's great that you connect more with strangers than you do your friends because the truth hurts but that's the truth your friends aren't gonna support you like i don't know some of our antarctica will a stranger from there and you guys can bond i definitely definitely would love to you know have my own community and have people that truly truly love watching me no matter if it's five minutes or an hour somebody that enjoys seeing my content because i don't want it to be fake because one thing that i realized are you trying to skip this <laughs> guys like i run rich one thing that i realized about youtube it's really not about the subscribers at all you can have 500 subs on what am i talking about? on youtube and if they're all just friends that you told hey can you follow me well guess what honey you're gonna get zero engagement because guess what your friends quote quote they don't they don't care about what you're doing you know the only time your friends care about what you're doing is when you finally made it hey can you post me hey can you give me a shout out where were you when i was you know down and needed a shout out and needed friends to support Friends, people, not not friends, people. People are so quick to post Rihanna, Selena, Haley, all that stupid shit. People are so quick to post stupid shit that's irrelevant to anyone's life because I don't care about celebrity gossip. I am over that. You are not my friend if you care about 
celebrity gossip and if you look up to famous people you're not my friend that's that's the bottom line you're not my friend you need to worry about your own goals and your own life you do not need to be worried about people that are people that you don't even know you should definitely be supporting your friend. If that, I mean, I'm just saying, if it was up to me, I would be supporting my friend. Damn, my phone was just driving crazy today. Jesus. Okay, y'all see this? Maybe you guys don't see it, but the driving here is crazy. At least I signal. I kind of want to go into Home Depot because, I don't know, the Sagittarius in me needs to find that car mount. Needs to find that car I don't know if Office Depot is the place. Maybe we won't go to Office Depot, but I'm just talking. You better not hit that car. It's crazy. The amount of love friends don't show you and then, I don't know, it's, it's crazy. And, and the thing is, I'm not even hurt about it because I was expecting that. I was expecting nobody to show me love because I, I was just expecting that because that's how it is. It doesn't matter who you are, that's how it is. You get no love. You get no love from your friends. The if you get love from your friends, that friend's a keeper because 99.8% of your friends don't don't care, won't interact, and if they do, they'll interact for that first video, and that's that. Whatever you do, nobody cares. So you better go out there and find some find somebody that's really gonna like you and watch your content and support you it doesn't talk bad about you behind your back because that's another thing that i've noticed is like i don't know about men but women women are so fake like like ugh, grimy and just things i've never things i've never experienced because i for the most part of me growing up i was always sheltered at home my mom never let me go out so like there's a lot of stuff that i really don't know about the world still and i'm 23 and i feel like ladies women try to take advantage of that and and then you're just so you're so i don't know what uh, gullible i guess that you believe anybody that wants to be your friend but not all people are your friends so I don't know what rant I'm getting at, but we are here at Target. I'm so sorry. Cut the camera. Let's go into Target. All right, quick glance at the dollar section or bullseye, whatever you want to call it. Let's just go look over there. But I don't dare to get any swimsuits from here because they're expensive. I like this one right here. I get overstimulated really quickly when there's a lot of people. It's just stressful. Stars above, go get this. Go get this, lady. We have all of these. This one is the last one I got. And, oof, when I tell you, go get it. How much is it? I think it's, I think it's twenty dollars each, and you get the shorts and the top. I think that's pretty good, even for Target. I don't know. They had gray sweats. Kind of interested. How much is the gray sweats by themselves? Ten dollars. Uh-uh, you better off getting the set. They also have stars above long ones. Like these. These are long ones. And these are soft. Soft, soft, soft. But, unfortunately, since I am so short, they don't fit me. This is a stars above, but it's cute. $20. Look at 
this one. And this is from the brand Colsey or Kelsey, I don't know. It's cute. Are these really $21? Like, this is outrageous. <laughs> And you realize that grown man really want pretty panties. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Grown man don't like that thong stuff, and neither do I. I don't never like this. So get yourself some nice panties that cover your big boot, your big juicy booty, and you're set. I'm talking like, you know what, low key? Look at this. Oh, I like that. I like this boyfriend kind of stretch. I definitely need more underwear. Am I going to get underwear from Amazon? If you guys want to know the underwear that I'm talking about, go to my Amazon storefront. Link down below. Do we believe in this? Is this for real? Period underwear. You get one pair for $20. Are you serious? Are you for- No. I don't care. I don't care what it does. I'm not- That is outrageous. Hold it. Wait a second. I'm looking at the shoes from far away because I can't- I don't need any more shoes. Uh, okay, let's just peek for a second. yellow towels but those towels I know they look yellow on camera but they're like a mustard yellow and I want a true yellow I want a cute shower curtain like cute and I want it to be colorful no more white no more plain we're doing color okay color let me show you guys what we're working with with the with the um shower so there's this one but this looks kind of creepy with all those faces no thank you uh that one would have been okay if it didn't have that lady right there in the center that would scare me oh god this is really nice but like i said no more white but i love the pattern on this mm, white white everything's so white what about this what is this oh what about that one but let me see let me grab this one Nah. Although it definitely needs to match my yellow mats, but I don't, I don't really like that. But it's it's a nice idea. What about these? It seems like the only things that have colors are the things for kids. Which why is that? I saw that one right there. Kind of curious. Oh, but this feels plasticky. I don't like that. Does nobody like color anymore? Everything's so. Pale. Okay. Put this ball kit right next to me. Wilson. <laughs> Did you guys ever see that movie? Hey, that movie may be sad. I like this little pattern. If only it was colorful. I'll take it. This one has, but oh, this one's. Mm, it's kind of pretty, but mm, mm, had potential. Had potential. There's one more aisle. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, this is like the kid section. I don't care. I'm a kid at heart. Mm, okay, well, no more shower curtains. Oh, wait, there's this one right here. What does this one look like? 
Well, this is white, so it's not gonna work out, but I like the material of that. Looks like I found the clearance section. This all the way down like that is the clearance section. some colors I like this one I like this maybe do like a fake bowl but I'm gonna hold off until again is this target <laughs> I'm gonna hold off until I move to my new apartment and then we can do a whole shopping video of me shopping for things and I'm also gonna be getting rid of things and that should be coming in with the spring video so I'm gonna put this back stay right there scanner thing let's scan and see how much this is even though i have it on my phone but better be seven dollars all right ten dollars oh Ooh, let me see what other colors they have i can look at other colors let's see they got dark gray tan mint and eh. this is the best color to get so the little one is seven dollars and the big one is ten dollars I don't know why I'm in the kids section, but the kids section is always more interesting than the, than the adult section. <gasps> Look at Yoda. I told you it was more interesting. Look at Yoda. I also found little Yoda. <gasps> I found little Stitch. He's those, uh, what does it say? Comfortable weighted. It's a weighted thing for your baby. <gasps> I'm a baby. So cute. Remember you guys when I impulsively bought the other one, the bigger one? I don't see it here, but I bought the bigger one here too, so. Oh, he is heavy. This might be my own kid. Let's stop messing around. Let's keep looking. What is this? Meh. Meh. Why he do, what is he look why is he looking at me like that? While we're over here, I want to look at I want to look at the Legos. Where's the Legos at? Ooh, right here. I want this so bad. I want that one. I want that one. Where's Yoda? Stop playing with me like that. Where's Yoda? Did they take Yoda down. Where's Yoda? Okay, good. I got scared. I, I want R2. I want R2 like now. I want R2. I want... Where's Yoda? Oh, there's Yoda. I want Yoda. I think that's all I want for now, but that's that's plenty, okay? That's plenty for the price. I know we said colorful, but that's, I like that. I keep finding empty or half empty Starbucks cups in every aisle. Please, guys. Seriously, just throw it in the trash. Do you ever feel awkward looking for something in your purse when you're out in a specific store? Because someone might think you're stealing, but you're not stealing. <laughs> I feel like that sometimes. Guys, please, please, please be mindful of your environment. No matter where you are, you're never safe. You can be in the most skated environment, most safe environment. You're never safe, okay? Don't ever think you're safe. Ever, ever, ever. Don't ever let your guard down. And always look at your surroundings because it's always been a thing. It's always somebody um, being a predator, trying to torture your kids, trying to get you going on just be careful be mindful because another cup y'all i found another cup what's up with people just leaving their dirty cups that's just nasty anyways i found uh not i found i was at target right and this i'm not making this up like i'm not making this up this lady was following me she was following me i know she was following me because anywhere i went she would be right there like what are the chances of her going down to every aisle that I go down? That lady was following me. And the first thing I did was get on the phone with my mom. We were just talking and talking. And I'm telling her, you know, what's going on. And 
then as soon as she saw me pick up that phone call, she went somewhere else. And I said my mom uh, on the phone the whole time, even when I got in the car. I was going to ask for an escort to take me to the car, but I didn't because I didn't see the lady. But I had my eyes, okay? I had my eyes. I was looking around, okay? So, she was following me. And then once she moved away, once I got on the phone, she moved like somewhere far or so I thought. But I went down this aisle and she was right there. She was looking at a company, just like looking at it. Not really looking at it, just being on her phone. She wasn't looking at anything. She didn't have a bag with her. She didn't have anything. She was trying to like be a predator, trying to get somebody in the store. But baby, you're not gonna catch me lacking. Mm -hmm. No ma'am, you're not. So just be careful, be aware of your surroundings because sex trafficking is very real. Very, very real. And you just gotta be ready. Just gotta be ready. Don't trust anybody. Don't trust the nice old lady. Don't trust your neighbor. I don't trust anybody. I don't trust anybody these days. I, I don't know what people's agendas are. People are evil. There's more evil people than I thought. Than I than I ever thought. You know, I thought people were nice. I used to be a genuine person. I used to be not genuine. I used to be a I don't know what's the word. I used to trust people easily and now no ma'am. No ma'am. People are weird. So don't let anybody take your kindness for weakness, okay? I love this area. But look at all the colors. Really no color except the faint the fake plants. Everything else is white. White, 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 white. Everything is white. Just green and white. Is this $50? This is $50? Are they serious? Okay. I'm only gonna get these two things. I'm gonna put that back. Don't even ask me why I'm in the dressing room, okay? I turned off the camera and I went crazy. Let me show you guys my OOTD. So this shirt is from Forever 21. These shorts are actually from Target when they were on clearance. And the shoes, I'm pretty sure these shoes are from Target too. Let me show you guys what I'm gonna try on. There's this black dress. I think it's pretty basic, so. But it has this little detail right there. I wanted to try this on, cause I like the top. But this looks like a nightgown, so. <laughs> A no, it's a skirt. Mm -mm. <laughs> I look like I'm gonna go to sleep. So, everything that I got is here Pop Shelf and Target. From Target, I just got the little rugs that I showed you guys. That's all I got, which is pretty good for Target. And then from Pop Shelf, I got these colorful plants. Uh, I'm gonna put them out first and see if I like them and then if I do obviously I'll take the tags off and keep it and then You guys I got some of the boring things, but Definitely definitely needed Vaseline for a dollar sign me up got two because I lose these some gloves for clean for my spring cleaning and I got two of those and then these fun Candles for decor only. I don't want to actually light these for decor only. I got orange slash, I don't know, orange. Let's just say orange. And then this green, green, bluish, I don't know. Just these colors. I like them. I told myself that I would get through this verse and I'm not going to mention the plane. But look at the plane. What the fuck are we saying? Yeah. Whoop it. Bitch, I'm outside of some movie. Yeah. I swear I'm addicted to blue cheese. I got a six to this paper like blue sleep. Bitch, I'm by my chicken like it's a two piece. You can have your bitch back, she a groupie. She just swallow all my kids in a two seat. Swagged out, familiar, we bringing them gas out. I still got some racks stuffed in the trap house. Off the 42, I'm blowing her back out. I'm back out, whole shit. She's been back with a full clip. They say I'm with a full clip. And my shooters, they shooting. I won't take it, they do it. I get the breeze, then it's adios. If I'm with your trees, then she give it though. When I see police, they.
grab any color. I'm gonna grab these. Cause it's hot. Oh. Free Astro game tickets over here if y'all wanna sign up. What is this for? Astro game tickets. Oh, Astro game tickets. I'm interested. Answer for a chance to win. Hope you don't mind being on camera. Let's go. Yeah, say something to him. Huh? I said you have to say something to him. 50,000 people. Welcome to Clubby. Let's get it on. Pick. Official, official event. I've been to another event, but it wasn't really an event. It was more like picking up food, which still counts. But this one, this one was a in-person event, and it was cool because you got to see a bunch of other Yelpers, and it just shocked me how many Yelpers there are in Houston. That was great. If you want to be a part of the Yelp team, it's actually not hard at all. You just have to put in the work, put in the reviews, make sure your reviews are unique and cool, and make sure you get a lot of pictures, videos, all that good stuff. You know what you look for in a review. That. Don't forget to tell your mom, your auntie, your tia, your abuela, everybody. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.